Hi there, Joshua. What seems to be the problem? I don't know. I've just been feeling really weird lately. Weird how? I don't know. I just, I feel like there's been something missing in my life. Oh, right. Well, that's easy. You've been missing tech news, and lucky for you, we're doing tech news right now. <laughs> what do you mean? The tech news. Uh, we're on a show right now. It's called Netlink Daily. Lots of people are watching. What? What are you talking about? Shh. The show's about to start. If you're an Android phone owner, do you find yourself waiting time and time again for new updates to arrive months after the cool new phones get theirs? Since the developer preview of Android O just came out, this is pretty relevant and Google is actually working with phone manufacturers to speed up the delivery of new updates. In 2016, only half of the 1.4 billion Android users received updates, leaving the other half vulnerable to vicious attacks. I mean, I don't know how vicious they are. They could be, but... Maybe some of them are just regular. Anyways, Google told TechCrunch that things are changing real soon though, and that 2017 will bring the usual six to nine month phones that aren't Pixel or Nexus down to just a few days. So bright days are coming for Android users, and it may soon be normal to get an update around the time they're announced. Maybe. One day. Can only can only dream of it. <laughs> and the Nintendo Joy-Con controllers. There's been lots of talk about them not working so well, and a few weeks ago, hackers found a way to improve connectivity to the Switch console by soldering a wire to the Joy-Con's Bluetooth chip. Well, it appears there's a less hacky way to improve connectivity, and it involves just a piece of foam. A writer at CNET reports that he sent in the left Joy-Con controller to Nintendo to be replaced, and when receiving it back, he opened it up and noticed that a black piece of foam covering the Bluetooth antenna was the only change made. They reckon that it's a piece of metal-coated conductive foam, which would help minimize interference from outside sources. The writer says that when the foam is removed, the controller no longer works, so never doubt what a little piece of foam can do for you people. Nintendo responded to Ars Technica though, saying that there was a small fix required for Joy-Con controllers and that moving forward, there should no longer be any connectivity problems. So maybe this will be the last time we talk about the controllers. It's been a wild ride, guys. This overclocker guy, Kingpin, really thinks he's a Kingpin. <laughs> a few weeks ago, EVGA overclocker Kingpin overclocked the GTX 1080 Ti Founders Edition to over 2.5 GHz, beating the Titan X, but now he's even beaten that. With the help of liquid nitrogen cooling, Kingpin, that son of a bitch, overclocked the 1080 Ti to 3.024 GHz. Kingpin did some custom modding on the PCB to bypass voltage locks, and the LN2 cooling helps regulate the temperatures. This also stands as the GPU frequency record as the GTX 1060 was overclocked to 3,012 MHz, 12 less MHz than the 1080 Ti, if my math is correct, but math was my worst subject in school, so it's hard to say, but the 1080 Ti did overclock higher than the 1060, and you can take that to the bank, folks. That's, that's a fact, so. Let's have a shot of those stars that more quickly than the others. Mass Effect Andromeda came out, and the game itself is getting decent reviews, but the animation, namely characters' faces and their facial expressions, has been ripped apart by the entire internet. So BioWare's lead designer has responded on Twitter, saying that the game is looking at patches for these issues in the future. In the meantime, enjoy the comedy. This is... This is great, guys. In the latest Galaxy S8 leaks, we get some looks at screen resolution. You can change from HD+, 1480 by 720, FHD+, 2220 by 1080, and WQHD+, the default resolution of 2960 by 1440. There's also a leak of the retail packaging where you can see that the S8 Plus has a 64 gigabyte storage option. There's also European pricing with the S8 starting at 799 euros and the S8 Plus at 899. The official unveiling is exactly one week from now. Speaking of Europe, Asus figures people are looking for motherboard upgrades to go along with their GTX 1080 Ti or KB Lake CPUs. So if you want to buy certain Asus motherboards and GPUs, you can get cash back. If you are a European person, click the links below to get a full list of motherboards and GPUs that you can get uh, some cash back on. Netflix has launched support for Firefox on Linux straight up. 
You don't need a plugin or anything. Watch straight from the website. Rock on, dude. And Facebook Live has been launched on desktop, positioning itself as competition to Twitch and YouTube gaming. Will it really be competition though? Let us know. Will you use uh, Facebook Live or watch others on Facebook Live streaming uh, dim games? Let us know. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Uh, Picari, Picari, Fuwawa, Fuwa, 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 Wa, Fuwa, 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 Haha, Sasa, Da Dead. Hey guys, do you like winning things for free so that you don't have to pay for something that usually costs money, but there's a way to get it so that you don't have to pay money, but also you're not stealing it so you don't feel wrong getting it? If you answered yes, then you should subscribe to our monthly newsletter. Not only will you have a chance to win a Logitech prize pack that includes a G810 Orion Spectrum RGB mechanical gaming keyboard and a G303 Diatlas Apex Performance Edition gaming mouse for free without spending money even, but you also get to hear more about about other NCIX deals and things happening at NCIX and all that kind of stuff. If you already are subscribed, just claim your newsletter points for this month and you'll also be entered for that thing. So click over here for more info on it all, man. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, if you like the video, just uh, or like it if you liked it. Uh, and comment below for fans with benefits and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. And I'll have to love you later because I'm busy right now. I gotta go do something else, but hang in tight there. I'll love you real soon.